Hello, how you doing? Today we're going to have a little introduction to Scratch 2. Last year we used Scratch 1 for all of you MERD 2 students, but all you MERD 1 students, uh, it's going to be new to you anyway. So, first thing you do is you go, um, there should be a Scratch 2 um, icon on your desktop. If not, go over to your start menu and you should find a little open thing over there. Click it and open it up. You can see Scratch 2. Okay, you're always going to see this where it says update to a new version. Hit cancel. Don't worry about that. You can't do it. Your computers will not allow you to update it. Okay, and open it up as full as you possibly can get. And here, let's take a little tour on Scratch 2. Okay. First, this area right here where you have this little cat, it is um, 30, 360 by 480. And this is called your stage. This is called your stage. This is where everything happens that you create. This is where you have all your movements and everything. You see it happen right here. It's not always going to be this size, but this is the start. This is where you see it happen at. Um, number two... This here is your startup sprite, right here. Um, whenever you open up Scratch, you're always going to have this cat. And you can either leave that cat the same size, or you can come up here and click where it says shrink, and shrink him down, or the one next to it, and make him grow. So, you have shrink and grow. Number three is down here, this area right here. This is your sprite thumbnail information area. As you notice, I have whenever you create a sprite, they're going to have little thumbnails down here. And you have information about your sprite. If I click on the information, it'll tell me the name of my sprite. And it'll tell me, tell me the exact coordinates my sprite is at that moment. Notice if I move the sprite right here, the coordinates change. So it'll tell me my coordinates. It'll tell me the direction my sprite is facing. See my sprite is facing this direction here? That's 90 degrees to this right here. Um, and you can do some other things with it that I'll show you later on. Next is your, you have these little icons right here. You notice if you hover over them, they uh, highlight information what they do. Right here, you can choose a new sprite. You click on it. It gives you a lot of other sprites that you can choose. Click on those. Click on the boy right here. Double click on it and close that oh where did I where to go where to go okay double click on my boy and he knows my boy showed up right there there we go and he's too big he's way bigger than my cat I want to shrink him down a little bit matter of fact I'll shrink my cat down a little bit also there we go. Now, um, so this is a new sprite from the I thing. I can paint on my sprite. Um, this is where I can upload images from my from my uh, computer hard drive or desktop, or I can take pictures. We won't be taking any pictures because um, most of the computers don't have com pictures have cameras where you can use for that. Okay, um, right here is the green flag. Whenever you do, you know, doing all your programming, this is where you start the action in the play. You click that, and then everything starts that you have that you have programmed. If you want to stop it, you click this to stop it. Notice my stage is kind of small. If I just want to see all the programming that I have, and I don't have to look at my programming. I click this button right here, and it makes my stage a whole lot larger, so I can see everything. And you click you click your green flag and click play, and then you can see everything happen. Up here is your menu bar. You can be using your menu bar a lot. Um, you have your file. Um, you can open a new project. You can open. You have a new project. You can open an existing project. Uh, you can save your project. Um, 
or you can save your project and give it another name. And I'll tell you about that later on. Uh, edit, you can, if you delete something, you can undelete it. And I believe it goes back at least three things that you've deleted, it'll undelete them. And we'll go over these later. And tips, you can click on this and it'll open up on the side and it can give you some help with how to use a lot of the, um, um, some of the stuff within the control palette right here. Close this. Okay, next. This area right here is your scripting area. This is where you do all your building your program. You come over here and you click on these. Click put your green flag. When my green flag is clicked, what do you want to happen when your green flag is clicked? Um, I want um, I want to wait one second when my green flag after my green flag is clicked, and then I want to move uh, ten steps. And this is all going to happen on the boy. So if I just to test it out, I click it, wait 10 seconds, and I move 10 steps. Remember, this is 480 steps right here, 480 pixels. So it's going to move pretty much 10 pixels, and it just moved just a little bit 10 pixels. If I want to do it over and over again, I go to my control section and I say, well, I want you to repeat that 10 times. I want you to nope, let's not say 10. Let's say two times. So I want you to go 10 steps two times. And I click the green flag, which, and it goes, it moved 20 steps. If I want to make it a five, it's going to go 50. So I'll click the green flag, wait one second, and you see it moves. Let's say if I want to take this, right click, duplicate, put it down there again. Now I'm going to wait one second. I'm going to move 10 steps, I'm going to repeat it 5 times, then I'm going to wait 1 second, I'm going to move 10 steps, I'm going to repeat it 5 times. Watch it. Move and move. So that's how you put your stuff in the scripting area. And that's what we're going to be using all these blocks for right here. Now, number 8, uh, this is it where you have your, uh, this is your palette right here. All these different colors. And do you have your events, which uh, pretty much start stuff off? Uh, this is how you control can control stuff. Whether you want to do it forever, you want to do it uh, one time, you want to wait a couple times, wait before you do it, and we'll go with that. Sensing. This is um, it's like a um, um, if the cat gets within five steps of the boy, the boy is going to run. Uh, or if you touch the keyboard, the boy is going to run. Or if you touch the side, the boy will stop and go the other direction. That's what sen sensing is something that deals with touch and, 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 um, 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 um being, being a, um, um, a certain distance from something. Your operator, we're going to go over what all this means right later on. Uh, motions, movement, looks, uh, where you can hide costumes, uh, you can hide stuff, make it show. Like right now I'm on the cat. If I click hide, the cat will hide. If I click show, the cat will show. But you can put all that within your program to make, to make it do different things. Um, the costumes, next costume, this, this, this deals with all with looks. Sounds, so you can do different things with your sounds. Those of you who like music, y'all can build stuff with music. Pins, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about that later on. We're going to have our uh, actual project that does that. And uh, the data section, and creating variables that store stuff. Okay, up here, you have um, um, you have three tabs. You have your scripts, your costumes, and you can change your costume around, uh, manipulate your costume, and then you can have your sound. You can manipulate your sounds that go within with, go, go within your game. That's a cat sound if y'all don't yeah if y'all didn't know. And last, over here, just like on the image right there, um, within the information thing, this here shows the exact location of the cat sprite. If I click on the boy, it's going to show me the exact location of the boy sprite. And those are the, um, those are the coordinates, the XY coordinates. So there, there goes you a, a brief, um, information of the of your scratch editor and get ready to do more stuff and have fun with sprite
or help on with Scratch. Thanks.